to another episode. I'm your nerdy bearded buddy, and today we are talking about the mean one. Now, before we get into this review, big thank you to Eagle Entertainment for sending me the mean one. You can find this on the 11th of October on DVD and digital, and you can find it in the link below in the description. The Mean One was directed by Stephen Lamorte and came out in 2022. It stars David Howard Thornton from Terrifier 1 and 2, Crystal Martin, Chase Mullins, Amy Schumacher, John Bigham, and Eric Baker. The Mean One is a Christmas horror parody, obviously of The Grinch, but it can't say that for legal reasons, so it's its own little IP. In a sleepy mountain town, Cindy's parents are murdered and her Christmas is stolen by a bloodthirsty green figure in a red Santa suit, the mean one. But when the ravenous, Christmas-hating creature begins to terrorise the town and threatens to ruin the holiday, she finds a new purpose, trapping and killing the monster. So, wow. The premise alone is actually just really intriguing. That's just, it could be just me, I don't know. Obviously, like I said, this is a parody of The Grinch by Dr. Zeus, but it cannot say that for legal reasons. Obviously, it, you know, it's very obvious. And I swear that no childhood character is safe. First Pooh Bear, Blood and Honey, and now The Grinch. Who is next? Anyway, overall, I thought this movie was fun. Far from perfect, but fun. And lackluster in some parts. It has loads of potential to be genuinely creepy because I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid and even now to some extent, the actual Grinch frightened me. Like he's just a, I don't know, never loved him. <laughs> what did I like about this film? Well, I like the premise alone. That premise is so cool and it intrigued me from the start and it kept my intrigue throughout the whole film. And the film is an hour and a half, so it's not that long. I love the narrator in this, so this film has like a narrator like in the Grinch movies. So having the, the narrator, it was really cool because it felt like a sick, twisted Dr. Zeus movie, <laughs> and I really appreciated that. Now, I noticed that in a violent horror movie like this, the violence wasn't that great when it should have been. And what do I mean by that? Well, for one, the violence is shown off screen a lot. And when it is shown, it can be a bit shaky, which I am not a fan of. And my biggest thing was the CGI blood. It was very distracting because it just looked really fake. And usually that type of stuff doesn't bother me, but it did in this. Now, I said it was a bit lackluster before. And what I mean by that is that we don't really see the Grinch, aka the mean one, much more than what we see him in the trailers. And when we do see him, he's got no real personality. And maybe that's because I was expecting like a sick, twisted, funny personality, but he doesn't actually say anything. And like, you know, it's still fun as a whole, but maybe just be warned going into this movie. And the ending, I love the ending. I really enjoyed it without spoilers. I liked how <laughs> it ended and it pokes fun at the Grinch and obviously like you know it's poking fun at, at it but you can't like it, it can't tell you that it's poking fun at the Grinch like it can't just but you know you, it's obvious you, you can tell and I really like even throughout the whole film not just the ending I really liked how you know it pokes and nods towards the Grinch and Dr. Zeus you know just with little references and you know it's quite clever it has clever little moments like that anyway I just also want to say I'm more willing to forgive my issues with the film because the movie obviously had a small budget so I appreciate that they managed to do this with whatever little they had so yeah and like don't get me wrong even with these flaws it's still I found it a fun watch so while it's not a perfect movie it's a bunch of fun for the most part and if for no other reason it will intrigue you from the premise alone. I'd say if the trailer interested you, watch this movie. However, if the trailer did nothing for you, this isn't going to win you over. It's not going to win you over. So, that, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, that is my review and my thoughts on the mean one. This is one of those films where you can watch it either for Halloween and obviously for Christmas. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a win in both ways. So, yeah. Have you seen the mean one? Let me know in the comments below. Did you like it? Why did you? Why not? Let's just talk about the mean one.
what's your favorite, I guess, childhood horror movie? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, stay awesome, be safe, and bye. Mm.